Okay. <coughs> Salawam. Salawam. Kwam yes Allah. Kuhuloimla. Yahweh. Bahashim Yahushai. Bahashim Rekha HaKodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahchanan Nawa, just coming at you with another quick lesson and praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. I wanted to touch on a couple of these articles, um, just like a little pre camp video, real quick. Um, so I was reading this one. It says, Boy 16 killed by crocodile after vanishing. When boat broke down, his cops find body riddled with bite marks, right? So, you know, it goes off into, you know, it's not a, not a lot to the story. They're not giving a lot of information other than, you know, he was attacked. Um, now, this one, I've seen this one as well. It says, father of three dies after getting bitten, attempting to remove venomous snake from child care center, right? So now here's another one. And so what it you know it just it just took me into um no, it's a lock. let me go back. Sirach, uh chapter 39, it talks about uh things like this. Damn, there was another one I seen. Whew, my goodness gracious. A 34 foot long, 990 pound anaconda discovered. Damn, that's a big ass snake. Well, it kind of came out of what I was just looking at, but it was a few stories. Let me go back. I may have that other one in my history. Oh, this one right here as well. Sheep suspected in a double killing of husband and wife. Okay, it says a, a New Zealand man, he went looking for his elderly parents on Thursday morning, becoming concerned that they had not heard from them in days. After their rural rented property... Uh, let's see. He found a ram and a paddock alongside the lifeless bodies of his parents. The unnamed couple in their early 80s are believed to have been both killed by the sheep. <laughs> Goddamn. Authorities believe the man had gone out to feed the ram and never returned. His wife then suffering the same fate when she went to check on him. The bodies were found 7.30 a.m., they said another person, uh, okay, it says in the agency, the, the agency said in a statement that the ram was in the paddock. All right. They said another person at the scene had also suffered a minor injury after being attacked by these by this ram. And that when police arrived at the scene, they too were confronted and approached by the ram. So, uh, yeah, they ain't liking your lashes. But it, it's a lot of stuff that's going on out here in the earth, man. And these scriptures are really jumping off the pages. But let me just, oh, it's lucky. I wanted to go to the Apocrypha. Quick little, little, little hit, man. And we'll be out in a little bit. Ecclesiasticus uh, 39, verse 28. And it reads, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So the Lord, he created spirits for vengeance. That's why it's so important to have a healthy fear of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. Because the scripture says um, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hand of the living God. Don't believe these Christians when they get to talking about you, talking to you about God is good all the time. That's a lie. <laughs> you know, they give you this, this feel good um, um, standpoint of, you know, the Lord, he loves everything. He loves everybody. He doesn't care what you does. You can be a damn demon. You can just live horribly. And he still loves you. Come as you are. No, don't believe that, man. You need to repent and be trying to live the best possible way that you can, man. You know, according to the scriptures, you know, I mean, we're all guilty of sin. Don't get me wrong. But when you're just out here just blatantly doing shit and then, you know, with that, I'm saved by grace spirit. Your ass going to get done up, man. Because you know, the Lord had one of these spirits to visit you. It says, fire. now, these are the spirits. And it's more, you know, but, it, uh, you know, but it says fire and hell. And famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. What's vengeance? My get back. I'm gonna get my lick back. I'm gonna get your ass dirty too. This one right here is the point that I wanted to make. Teeth of wild beasts, right? What's the crocodile crocodile that, that got the little 16 year old boy? Or a young man. That's teeth of wild beasts, right? 
They find his ass, you know, riddled up. I'm surprised he, you know, he was even found. Okay, it says, and scorpions, serpents. What happened to the guy with the venomous snake? Knocked his ass off, man. <laughs> you see? And the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They shall rejoice in his commandment. See? These spirits, it says that they rejoice in his commandment. These spirits weren't like, you know, well, those, those are, that's an 80 year old couple, Lord. What are they, you know? We, no, we don't want to do that to them. Spirit of, you know, hit that ram. <laughs> How, you, you you know, we're talking about a ram. Hey, them things are powerful, too. But they got the Dodge Ram trucks. They don't have that, that logo on, on the front for nothing. They understand that rams, when they hit, they come hit. They When they come charging towards you, you can see them when they be, they'll buck up against each other and be, Claw! you know, and just step back and they just running into each other head on. And hey, them things got a lot of power. So, you know, people are elderly in their 80s. They 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 not standing no chance with nothing like that. Or, you know, elder some there there's some elderly people that's in shape, but you know when the straight comes down to it, they're not in that type of shape to withstand a, um, a battering ram. Basically, that's pretty much what they get that from. When when the police hitting banging in your door, they got that from the ram. That's why they call it the battering ram. That shit causes destruction and knock your ass. You know, and ain't no telling you know what what hey, it's just a spirit. Just out of the blue, the ram just started just ramming the asses, attacking the, the, um, the police and everybody when they got there. Come on, bro. It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. And the Lord is allowing these spirits to get down out here, man. And it's going to be a lot more of them active in these, in these, these coming last days, man. It's going to be a lot of deletions out here. So... It's high time to awake out of sleep and to repent. High time to awake out of, out of sleep and to repent, man. That's that um, Romans 13 and 11. Can't stress it enough. Me and the brother, we bring it out every um, weekend, man, when we go out to camp. This is our last scripture that we normally hit when we call, go out to camp on Saturdays, man. Romans 13 and 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than what we believe. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore put on the let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. And how you cast off the works of darkness, man, is first off, you gotta know the true name of the Father, Yahweh. That's the true name of the Father. Not no damn Jehovah. Not no, you know, um, um Almighty God. And you know, those are titles, you know what I'm saying? But his name is not no damn Jehovah. That's for sure. His name is Yahweh, which means that he exists or the existing one. You repent to him in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. That's the true name of our, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, meaning he's the Savior or Deliverer in the Paleo Hebrew. See, that's the true name. There's no letter J in Hebrew. There wasn't nobody being called Jesus. He wasn't being, little Jesus, come here. Nah, Mary, Joseph, you know, even Joseph's name was not, it wasn't even being called Joseph. There wasn't no J back then. There was no English back then. And you got these people that's, oh, well, it don't matter what you call him. He know you. He know your heart. Well, all right, I'll tell you what. If you sleeping with your, your husband, say a woman sleeping with her husband, and his name is John, and, and, and she calls out David while they're having the, the get down, having a sexual relate, what you think is going to happen? Who the fuck <laughs> going to want to get up and do some things to you? You can't go to a bank and, and, and your name is Jamie. The check, the, the check you're trying to cash says Jamie, but on your ID it says James. No, no, you, that shit got to be correct down to the, to, to, to the letter. See? So you call on the true name of the Father, Yahweh, repent to him in the name of his son, Yahweh, Shai, and turn from your wicked ways, man. A lot of people be knowing that the shit they be into is wicked. Especially our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, which are Israelites, because the Lord, He really, He He embedded that type of spirit within us. We know what we're doing wrong. Even without, you know, it, we we the scripture talks about that too. Certain things internally, we know we're we're wrong. But it's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that you can overcome those things. Is literally these, these scriptures are alive, man. You start to live, but it's by the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. This word cuts, man. This word is healing. This word is protection. This word is, 
you know, it does, it's going to do exactly what he said it's going to do. You acting up, he's going to get at you. <laughs> if you're righteous, he's going to love on you, man. It, it, it's, it's plain and simple. So, but anyway, I just wanted to do a quick little lesson before I head out to camp. With that, call me a solo.